President Obama has been making headlines recently with his new education proposals, specifically a plan to make college affordable to millions of Americans. I'm announcing an ambitious new plan to bring down the cost of community college tuition in America. I want to bring it down to zero. And the concept is simple. America's college promise will make two years of community college free to responsible students who are willing to work for it. And work for it means that students must have a mentor, complete community service, maintain a 2.5 GPA, and make steady progress towards their degree. Ted Horton is a student at Arizona State University and says that he supports Obama's proposal. This is a great idea for deaf people to get the students into college so they can have a free education. That way they don't just live off social security and can actually get the lives they've always wanted. Of course, the biggest issues with the idea have been money. It's been estimated that the new program will cost about $60 million in just a decade. The federal government will pick up three quarters of the tab while the state is responsible for the rest. For Ted, supporting the cost isn't a problem. I'm willing to pay more on my taxes in order to give people access to free education. But for Arizona State Senator Carlisle Begay, the benefits need to make up for the high costs. There's got to be a justification on the return on investment to not only the country, but for us in the debate. Obama announced the proposal in Tennessee, a Republican state that already successfully offers free education to its students. It's worked out really well. People don't have a problem with it, so I think it should apply to other states. Senator Begay disagrees. Lessons based on other policies, uh, you know, especially like something this large, there's not a one-size-fits-all approach. The proposal continues to be debated by fiscally conservative Republicans and Democrats who support an education overhaul. President Obama is releasing new proposals for education as the State of the Union address draws closer.